Hey, my name is Joel. Welcome to Unleash Your Surf System course. With this tennis surf course, you'll be able to understand and master the fundamentals of the tennis surf. With lots of practice and refinement, I'm sure you'll be able to hit the type of tennis surfs that you want in your tennis game. Now, this surf course is broken into several parts. So do make sure you check the YouTube thumbnails and the description in order to follow the sequence of the surf course. If you like the content that you're watching, do click the like button and subscribe to Unleash Your Tennis channel. Alright, without further delay, let's jump into today's lesson right now. In this lesson, I'm going to share with you how to find the best grip for your surf. We are going to use the continental grip throughout in this course. And if you are not familiar with the continental grip or if you have been using the wrong grip for your surf, I strongly encourage you to pay attention to this lesson and switch to the continental grip if you have not been using it for your surf. Alright, so how to find the continental grip? So let me come closer to you and show you the racket handle. Alright, now the racket handle is made out of an eight-sided figure. Okay, if you look at the butt of the racket, you see that it's an octagon. Alright, it's an eight-sided figure. So if you slide down from the top of the frame, alright, if you slide down from this edge, coming down, alright, this is bevel one. All right, bevel one. For the right handers, all right, go clockwise direction. So from here, bevel one, go clockwise. So this will be bevel two. This will be bevel three, and so on. All right. For the left handers, you'll be going anti-clockwise. So we start with bevel one. You go anti-clockwise. So this will be bevel two and here bevel three and so on all right now in this lesson we are going to concentrate on bevel two all right so how to hold the handle for the right handers all right you look at if you look at my palm all right i mark out two dots one is at the knuckle of the index finger and the other dot is at the heel of my palm all right so I want you to place these two dots at bevel two, all right, for the right handers, all right. So this will be your, this will form your continental grip, all right. So if I turn around, this will be your continental grip. For the left handers, same thing. You'll be, I have these two dots, all right, one at my, at the knuckle of the index finger, and the other one at the heel of my palm. So, when I place these two points at the bevel 2, alright, this will be my continental grip. So now you have located the continental grip, there are a few things I want to highlight to you. Number one, when you are holding on to the continental grip, avoid holding the handle like a block here. Alright, I want you to spread out the fingers this way and Imagine the index finger is, is pulling a trigger of a pistol. Alright, so for a right hander, alright, spread the fingers this way on the container grip. Alright, your index finger should feel like you're pulling the trigger of a pistol. Alright, another quick way to check is when you are at the net, alright, you should feel that the edge of the, of the racket is chopping the net. You have, if you have been using the forehand grip for the serve, you'll find that naturally the racket face is coming this way when you press it against the net. Alright, so to have a quick check on the continent grip, alright, make sure that the frame is chopping the net. Alright, when you're holding on to the continental grip. The next thing I want to highlight to you is whenever I mention choke up the racket, I simply mean you hold the racket at the top of the handle. All right. This is more for learning purpose. All right. When you are when you choke up the racket, you are actually closer to the racket face, and this will gives you this will give you more control 
and more feel. Alright, but eventually, when you go onto the full serve, you will be holding on to the lowest part of the handle. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to hold the ball. Alright, so when I'm holding the ball, I'm holding it with just the finger pads. The palm is not touching the ball at all. Okay, so if I'm moving closer to show you, you can see that the palm is not touching the ball. There's a hollow here. So I'm holding it with just the fingers and my thumb is on top of the ball. Next thing is, with regards to the tossing arm, I want you to keep it fairly straightened, but you do not need to lock the elbow such that it becomes stiff. Alright, so throughout the tossing mo motion, this arm is straight throughout. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to toss the ball consistently. So when I toss the ball for the serve, I'm always thinking of the word releasing the ball. Alright, so if you have the words flicking or throwing the ball, I want you to delete those words because you're not going to have your toss consistently if you are flicking the wrist or throwing the ball. Okay, so how to toss the ball consistently? First of all, I'm thinking of opening up the palm to release the ball. So the first exercise I want you to try is to practice this opening up of the palm okay, by spreading the fingers this way. Alright, think of it as a flower blossoming. Right, so you are opening up the palm. Here. And while doing this, keep the hand straightened. Okay, and practice this opening up of the palm. The next stage is I want you to move the hand up and open the palm around the eye level. Okay, so you have this rhythm of moving the hand up and open the palm. Again, moving up and open up the palm okay so get used to it get use of this exercise all right and finally after you open up the palm i want you to continue to move this tossing hand up all the way such that your hand is pointing to the sky okay so it looks like this so i start from here i move my hand up I release, I open up the palm, and then I move this whole hand up, such as it is pointing to the sky. Okay? So let's continue. So I move the hand up, I open up the palm at the eye level, and I continue to move this hand up all the way. Okay? Let's do this three more times. Alright? Open up, and go up all the way. Last two. Open up. And go up. Last one. Move the hand up. Open the palm. And move the hand up. In this lesson, we are going to do a very important drill. And that is the toss and catch exercise. In a previous lesson, you have practiced this moving of the tossing hand. Alright, and you have done the opening up of the palm followed by moving the whole arm up and pointing to the sky. Okay, so now the next progression is to add the ball on your hand. Okay, I want you to do this, okay, bring the hand up, release the ball somewhere around your eye level, and then catch the ball above the head. So it looks like this. Alright, so if you look at it closely, I'm actually releasing the ball somewhere around the eye level or slightly above. And I continue to move my hand up to catch the ball around here, which is above my head. Okay, let me do this three more times. One, two, 
3. Alright, now the next question to ask is, how high should I toss the ball? I've seen many players doing a low toss such that they are not able to extend the arm fully to catch the ball. They'll be doing this. This is wrong. Alright, I want you to extend the arm up fully and straighten so that you can catch the ball up here. So how high should you toss the ball? Basically, when you hold the racket and when you stretch out here, right, the, the height of the toss should be 30 to 50 centimeter above the racket. Okay? So I repeat, the height of your toss should be around 30 to 50 centimeter above the racket. Okay? So let's practice the toss again. So now my the height is the height of my racket is somewhere here. So my toss should be above about 30 to 50 centimeters above my racket. Okay? So let's keep this in mind. So when I toss, I must keep it high enough. Right? Keep it high enough so that I can catch the ball above my head. So practice this exercise and do for 20 repetitions such that you are able to catch it nice and high up above your head. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the best starting position for your surf. So when you are stepping up here to surf, right, your front leg should be pointing towards the net post. So as you can see, my front leg is actually 45 degrees pointing to the net post in front of me. My back leg is standing behind this front leg and it is parallel to the baseline over here. So if I were to stand in a natural position, I should be facing the side fence instead of facing the opponent. Alright, so this is the best position that you should adopt before you serve. The common mistake is a lot of players tend to look at the opponent too early and straight away there is some tension at the lower body. Alright, as you can see, if I don't face the opponent, I face the side fence, my hip is pointing, is aligned to the side fence. If I'm too eager to look at the opponent, I need to turn my hip and look at the opponent. This is the common mistake. So stay relaxed, face the side fence before you surf. Alright, so this is your starting position. For the right handers, you'll be standing this way. Your left leg will be pointing towards the net post in front, and the back leg will be parallel to the baseline over here. Alright? So again, be relaxed and comfortable. Face the side fence first before you surf. So avoid turning to face the opponent too early because this will cause a lot of tension at the, at the hip area. In this lesson, we are going to do an exercise called high five the ball. Alright, so very simple. You go into your surf position. This is for left-handed surf. For right-handed surf, we will start this way. Right. So what we're going to do is, we are going to place the racket behind our head. The grip to hold is the continental grip, and you can choke up the racket for this exercise. So place the racket behind the head. So I'm going to toss the ball up, and I'm going to high five the ball with my racket. Okay, so this is a very simple exercise. Toss the ball up and high five the ball with the racket. Let me show you three shots. So I get ready my toss, toss the ball, high five. 
Alright, so in this exercise, there is no targets. Simply, I need you to high five the ball. That's all. So from here, pause, high five, pause, and high five. The key thing to note is when the racket is behind the head and when you bring up the racket, you must turn the racket such that the racket face is able to high five the ball. If you don't turn the racket enough, you'll find that the edge is going to hit the ball. So turn the racket this way such that the racket face is able to contact the ball. We are not going to do an exercise called the stuck and unstuck exercise. Alright, this exercise helps us to understand the bracket path on top and also helps us to understand how the arm rotates. And in, in tennis, we call this the pronation of the arm. Alright, so to do this drill is very simple. First of all, you hold the racket with your continental grip. You can choke up for this exercise. Next, you place the racket this way and put the ball here. Alright. Now, what I need you to do is to hold the ball tightly and rub this ball against the string such that it will become stuck at the edge here. And once you are stuck, I want you to push the racket off to get unstuck. Alright? So, this way, rub the ball against the racket strings, get stuck at the edge, and push off the racket. So, from this angle, alright, rub the ball against the racket strings, get stuck here, and push off. One more time, push off. So for right-handers, this is the way you do it. All right. So hold the ball here with your left hand, rub the ball against the racket string, get stuck here, and push off. Get stuck here, and push off to get unstuck. All right. So by doing this exercise, we understand that when the racket gets stuck, and when we push off, you'll find that the arm actually rotates. The forearm actually rotates outwards. Okay? So, this is what happened in a serve. You'll find that for all the pros who are serving, they always have this position. Alright? No matter who serve, they always end up here before the follow through. Okay, so this exercise help, helps us to achieve this this movement. Alright. So as you practice from this angle, okay now I'm practicing in front of my face. Gradually I want to shift up so now above my head. And then finally I want to do it above the head. Alright, where my Tossing arm is almost straightened up here. Okay? Do 20 reps for this part. Alright? So, here, practice this stuck and unstuck. Stuck and unstuck. Push off. Alright? So, practice this exercise for 20 repetitions and make sure that you get this rotation correctly. I see you in the next lesson. In this lesson, we are going to do an exercise called hit the ball up drill. Alright, the previous lesson you have learned the stuck and unstuck drill, and it is crucial for you to get this correct because it is going to help you in this exercise. So if you are still struggling to get the stuck and unstuck, unstuck drill correct, my suggestion is to go back and practice again. Practice the stuck and unstuck exercise.
So in this exercise, hitting the ball up, we are going to combine high five the ball and the unstuck drill into this exercise. So what we need to do is, okay, go into your starting position. Okay, you can start with a choke up, choke up grip. All right, so as, as usual, we'll start here behind the head. Now, when we toss the ball, in this exercise, I want you to toss the ball up, all right? Imagine the ball is dropping, and then as it comes down, your racket is going to hit the ball up, all right? So is this ball drop and the racket going up to brush the ball, all right? So after you brush the ball, your finishing will be somewhere here. Right, your finishing will be somewhere here. So for a left hander, it's going towards my left side for my finishing. For a right hander, all right. Once you toss the ball, okay, and as you brush the ball up, your finishing will be to the right side. Okay, so racket path will be this way, ending on the right side. Okay, so let me demonstrate three shots how this is done. Okay, so I prepare my racket here. So a reminder, I toss the ball up, let it come down, and I go up to brush the ball. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so as you can see, my finishing is going towards the left side as a left hander. Okay, one more. All right, so as you can see, the path is going this way, going up, contact the ball, and finish here. All right, one more time. The racket is going up to contact the ball, and then the racket is going to finish somewhere here. All right, now another tip for you is, as you are going up, you can imagine someone has punched you on the stomach so you are going this way all right someone has punched you and you are Ugh. you have this feeling of getting punched all right so let me sh show you again okay now in an exaggerated movement <sighs> okay one more time pause and up okay so there's this upward movement and my stomach it has contract upwards all right so do, do go ahead and do this exercise all right my suggestion is to do again do 20 repetitions such that you can get it consistently correct in this lesson we're going to continue with hitting the ball up exercise so in a previous lesson you have done the exercise hitting the ball up with a choke up grip. So in this lesson, I want you to advance to the full grip. That means you're going to hold the lower part, the lowest part of the handle. All right. So again, begin the racket here behind the head. All right. So I want you to toss the ball, brush the ball up, and finish the racket on the same side. Okay. So now in this exercise, we are using the full grip. Okay, so again, I want to hit the ball up, one more, all right, so do this exercise, go to the full grip, practice for 20 repetitions, and I'll see you in module 3. That's all for this module of the surf course, I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, happy playing.